Hey guys, it's Mr. Lindy here. Uh, today we're going to talk about multiplying fractions. So multiplying fractions by a whole number. That means by 4, 5, 6. So multiplying by fraction by a certain number. So what I'm going to do is I have about four problems for you to try. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do the first one. All right, here we go. First one is 1 third times 6. The first thing I would like you to do is I would like you to change this 6 into a fraction. So I'd like you to change it. Instead of saying I have 6, I want you to put 6 over 1. They are both the same thing. So 6 over 1 equals 6. Just want you to know that. Now, the best thing about fractions is there are no common denominators. All you do is you multiply straight across. Okay? So straight across here, straight across here, and you'll get your answer. So 1 times 6 is? 3 times 1 is? Now, if you watch my previous video, you will know now that I am not happy with that answer. I am going to now require you to reduce everything. So if you look at 6 over 3, 6 over 3 equals the same thing as 6 divided by 3, and 6 divided by 3 equals your answer of 1 third times 6 is 2. All right, next problem. We have 3 sevenths times 5. All I want you to do is just put the 1 under the 5, and I'll multiply straight across. 3 times 5 is 15, and 7 times 1 is and now, as you notice, that's also called an improper fraction. I don't like that. How many times does 7 go into 15? Two times. With how many left over? One seventh. There's your answer right there. So three sevenths times 5 equals 2 and 1 seventh. Okay? Now on to some of the bigger ones. Now I want to show you a little, or go over to the little shortcut trick we've talked about. Uh, even if you put the 1 under here. What I like to do is I like to see if any of the numbers diagonal, meaning the 36 and the 9, or the 3 and the 1, just like the multiplication sign, if they can go into each other. So let's start off with this 9. Does 9 go into 36 evenly? Yes, it does. It goes into 36 evenly four times. And then 9 divided by 9 equals 1. So now when I multiply straight across, I have 3 times 4, and that equals 12. And 1 times 1 equals 1, and my answer equals 12. Now, for those of you that are like, well, what, what if I do it the other way? Okay, so I'm going to draw it again. 3 over 9 times 36 over 1. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to do 36 times 1, or times 3. 36 times 3, you have 18, 9, and 1. So 108 equals 108. And then 9 times 1 is 9. 108 divided by 9 equals, you guessed it, 12. Same thing. So just by doing a little bit of reducing inside of the fraction, I can get my number a lot easier. I don't have to reduce. Let's try it again. All right, remember you can pause or you can rewind as much as you need to do this. Uh, here's your problem. I'm going to look at it uh, the crossways. 5 and 1, I can't do anything about, so these ones are going to stay the same. But 12 definitely goes into 144. 12 goes into 144 12 times. And then 12 goes into 12 one time. So now I can go across. 5 times 12 is 60. And 1 times 1 is, and then my answer is 60. And just to check it to make sure, let's do the problem over here, 5 twelfths times 144 over 1, so 144 times 5, 20, 22, 720, and then 12 times 1 is 12. Now we have to do, wow, all this space, huh? 720 divided by 12, 12 goes into 72. Here we go, 6 times, 6 times 12, 72, subtracting, you have 0, that goes in 0 times, boom, 
There's our answer, right? 60. All right, so very simple, has a couple tricks. We'll be doing a lot more of this, but uh, good luck, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Say bye, guys.